How do you balance out your hydration to meet the chameleon's needs as well as the needs of the entire environment? Sure. So something in my toolkit, and I think it should be in most people's toolkits as far as keeping chameleons, is monitoring the chameleon's hydration. At the end of the day, we're very concerned about that animal, obviously. So one must check the urates, check the behavior. Uh, I think that comes first. You want to be sure the chameleon is doing well, and then you can see what you can do in the system kind of secondarily, because if the chameleon's not doing well, mm, <laughs> that enclosure might not have an occupant pretty soon. So <laughs> that's important. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. As far as general hydration of the system, though, I simply put my finger in the soil, check the uh, moistness, make sure it's not soaking, make sure it's not bone dry, make sure it seems reasonable. Um, I check the plants, make sure that they're growing and thriving uh, and aren't wilting or having having any other issues. Uh, I check the bug populations and make sure that they're not getting drowned, for instance. Um, and depending on how you set it up, you can actually visually inspect the clay balls if the front is um, transparent or not clay balls, just the bottom of the enclosure. So visually, you can just see if there's water building up Physically, you can tell if you put your finger in and sort of measure it. Um, and there's also signs indicative that something has gone wrong, like the plants dying or uh, the bugs drowning or other things like that. <laughs> <laughs>